It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160, 101.1 FM. 946, our teddy bear fun drive time. Mark Burdig is in the studio with us this morning and on the telephone where he's involved in rehearsals and cooking breakfast and everything else. B.C. Taylor. B.C., good morning. Hello. How are you guys? Oh, we're wonderful. Having a good time here today. And, boy, really, really excited about what's going to be happening on Sunday night. Uh, and, and is it true that you're actually at rehearsals right now? I am on my way to rehearsals. I had to get a quick workout in so I can keep up with Rick Witkowski. <laughs> I'm doing cardio as we speak because... Uh, we all know what he's like on stage. A couple of minutes from now, we're going to join our uh, other Renda Broadcasting stations here. We're going to allow them to listen in as we bring this interview with B.C. Taylor. And Mark Burdick is going to have a special announcement for us this morning. Let's say hi to Mark. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Todd, and hello, B.C. Hello, Mark. How are you? Good. We're just, what, four days away? Four days away. Hopefully you've been practicing. Because of I... all the emails, I expect you... Uh... You've been talking a big game about singing with us, so... Uh, we're trying to sell tickets here, BC. We're trying to sell tickets. Uh, you... <laughs> You're right. Let's not scare anyone away. <laughs> You've never even heard me sing. <laughs> Um, no, but I can only speculate. Hey, VC, um, you've been back in town here now for rehearsals and, and uh, getting all excited about the concert, I'm sure, with everybody else. I wanted to ask you this week when I had you on, uh, but I, I never got the chance, so I want to ask you today, what's it like to be there in the room with those fellows when they start rehearsing and uh, they start they, they pull out a guitar lick or, or something, something vocally happens and you stop and say, wow, because that's what I would do. And I would imagine that's what uh, you get to do every once in a while too. It happens, it happens a lot more than, uh, than you'd think. Uh, it, it's basically on every song. And what it's like being in the room with these guys, you know, we've talked about it before. It's like a family reunion and, we're all together and we're all laughing and telling stories about dad and sing, singing these songs that we've been singing for 20 plus years. And, and it really, it just feels, it feels good to be celebrating again. And, and you're absolutely right. Every once in a while, um, someone will do a lick or play a guitar part or, or make a joke that, you know, has been embedded into the show. And we all laugh and, and it just feels, it feels like home. It really does. It feels like home. Do you have particular songs that when you see them coming up on the set list, you say, oh, yeah, I, I, this one, I can't wait to do this one? Well, to be honest, the, the opener is one of them. Uh, Away in a Manger is one of those songs that uh, has always been really special to me, and mostly because of the interaction that Dad and I have um, throughout that song. Uh, same with Joy to the World. He and I um, came up with little parts that we would, we would interact with each other um, over the years, and now they've become part of the song to where whoever is singing that, uh, they know that part is coming up, so they turn around and interact with me. So it's, it's very much of um, a tribute to just the creativity and the spont spontaneity of Dad on stage and how um, his, his, you know, his interaction with all of us on stage has turned into, into staple parts of the show. Yeah. Mark Burdig, um, you, of course, are the reason we have these concerts, because you actually went to a B.E. Taylor Christmas concert years ago. You said, i got to get this in Indiana. What about the that show and watching B.C. and the guys perform? What made you say, this This is for Indiana. This is this is fit right in. It, it's a, it's a hand-in-glove thing. After the last week or so of a few hours here and there devoted to the concert, I don't know if you really want to hear about it. <laughs> no, but in, in all seriousness, it goes back uh, to two seven, 2007. It was my first concert at Heinz Hall, and I think BC may know this story. It was my niece, who's now a freshman at St. Francis University, that called Uncle Mark and said, hey, why don't you and Aunt Debbie come to the B.E. Taylor concert? And I said, huh? And, yeah, it's at Heinz Hall. You'll love it. We've been going. And, and Uncle Mark, uh, for those like you that know me, mm -hmm. is on the run quite a bit and involved in uh, probably at times more than I should be. And I get tired at times, more so now than back then. And I said, I don't know, Lauren. I don't know if I want to. Come on, come on. You'll love it. You'll love it. Well, she, she always had a way and still does it tugging at Uncle Mark's heartstrings. So I said, okay, we'll go. Well, I talked to Debbie, of course, but uh, a couple months go by, and my brother, as he had for many years, I don't know that he's ever missed a year, uh, got the tickets, and I get a, or Debbie reminds me that, hey, don't forget Wednesday, we're going to Heinz. Oh, what I ever commit to that for? <laughs> and then three songs in, literally, I said, oh, my God, I'll come to this every year. And I did. And a couple of years later, I got, came up with a crazy idea. We ought to try to give the Teddy Bear Fun Drive a boost 
bring it to Indiana. I think everybody in this building thought I was nuts, and they still do, but not for that reason. Mm -hmm. But it happened, and it worked, and it took off, and the rest is history, other than, unfortunately, BE's passing, which still uh, touches us all uh, greatly. Yeah. All right. Well, we're we're now joined by our other render broadcasting stations: WDAD Cat Country and ninety two point five FM U ninety two. BC Taylor is on the telephone with us. Mark Burdig, you have a very special announcement that's even going to enhance this concert experience more. For well, folks. we've done something like this in the past for I think all of the shows, uh, the the first four that we did, two thousand twelve through thirteen, fourteen, fifteen where we have a survey that will be in the concert bag that we have with the glow sticks. And thank you to the Indiana County Tourist Bureau. Everybody will, again, receive glow sticks. And we have some fantastic prizes. It helps us immensely with many things uh, regarding the concert and, and other things that we're involved with. But Seven Springs, again, has stepped up to the plate to provide us one of many great prizes that we'll be giving away. So for you fans coming, if you fill out the survey, you're going to have a chance to win a fabulous two-night package at beautiful Seven Springs. B.C., have you ever been to Seven Springs? No, but I'm really thankful that you're actually supplying me with one of those packages already. Uh, it's been, it's, that's incredibly generous. Of yeah, you no, all no, to, no, uh, no, you know, no problem. Have me come. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I didn't know I've if heard, you were a skier or not. wonderful thing. It Fill is. out the survey. Anyway, the two nights of lodging yeah. at the main lodge at Seven Springs, unlimited skiing from 4 p.m. the day of arrival until 7 p.m. the day you check out. Breakfast each morning, which is fabulous. Todd, you've had oh, that, I man, believe. It's incredible. One family sized, one topping pizza per room, one snow tubing session per person, one round of miniature golf and a bowling session. Access, of course, to all of the facilities like the indoor pool, wall, uh, roller skating, uh, the bear trap zone for children, and um, it it's, goes on and on. It's a fabulous two night package from our partners at Seven Springs, the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're giving us four premium box seats to a home game of uh, the winner's choice. We have a $500 amusement park package. So there's a lot of incentive to come to the concert, fill out the survey, and we'll be giving away several prizes uh, as we have in the past, but this year bigger and better than ever before. So we, uh, we have a few tickets left. We hope you grab them and join everybody for the fun Sunday night. And, of course, the big thing is, and the big attraction is B.C. Taylor and, and all of his friends on stage performing the Feel the Love concert. You know, when I saw the musician playlist, and B.C., correct me if I'm wrong, but some of the musicians like Anthony Rankin have never played in the arena setting at uh, the Kowalczyk Complex, and I believe one or two others, but I'm looking, these guys are coming, the band from, you know, B.C. included, Nashville, Tennessee, there's two or three guys, Los Angeles, California, of course, Jeff Jimerson from Pittsburgh, but they're coming long distances, no, none further than L.A. It's really incredible what you're able to put together. Well, I think it speaks to, to you know, it's a real testament to the show, and, and again, it goes back to the love that we have for each other and the love that we have for Dad and the, and the, uh, and the music because we were all part of this show at one point, and when, when the opportunity came up to, to continue, everybody wanted to be involved and the travel became um just a uh, a minor obstacle to overcome which everyone has you know overcome and and, and, it, and it really is um it's it's special to have people from the very beginning to where uh when i started playing drums and, and then my cousin dominic came on and he and i were the rhythm section and then anthony rankin joined and it became it, you know it, it's cool to see the different the different chapters of the of the Christmas show all on one stage. For the fans that have been not or have been to the Indiana shows before, they have not seen Anthony Rankin, but what a fabulous mu musician and vocalist, isn't he? Oh, what's wild is I know him and he's a friend of mine and I've worked with him and I've played with him and he still blows me away. Like in rehearsals, he I mean he is so he's so talented. Just like I mean everybody is talented, but um, it, you know, he, he, he's an exceptional guitar player and an exceptional singer and an exceptional artist in and of himself. And, and it's just, it's, it's fun to work with him. And, you know, it's, it's just really fun. The Feel the Love celebrating a B.E. Taylor Christmas concert is coming up on Sunday evening at the Kowalczy Complex. Box office will open in just a couple of moments. B.C., uh, I love those fly-on-the-wall moments, so let me be a fly-on-the-wall even in the middle of December. 
and uh, take me into that moment just before the concert. You guys are all backstage getting ready to come out. You're starting to feel the excitement of the crowd. Uh, tell me about the butterflies. Tell me about how excited and eager you guys are to get out there on stage and do what you do. Well, before every show, we, uh, we gather together in, uh, in, a, in a room or wherever we can, and we all circle up and we all pray and we all think, we all, we all give thanks for the fact that we get to perform another show and we get to share our gifts with these, with these, with this crowd and, and the fact that we just really, that we're, we're just thankful that we have one more day and that we don't want to take it for granted and, and that we touch each and every person in the audience and help them leave feeling the love of Christmas. And, you know, and when we break that prayer, uh, it's nothing but smiles and claps and, and, and energy to get up on stage. Uh, and, and, and that's been the tradition for the past 20 years, and it will continue on Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a fabulous night. Um, Mark, closing moments here of, the, of Indiana in the morning today and on our other horrendous broadcasting stations. I know that you share that sort of enthusiasm that BC has for it as well, and we'd like to invite everybody to get their tickets and come join us. Well, I think we've always worked hard in putting this concert together and more so maybe in 2011 and 12 when we were saying, hey, you have to come to this show. If you come once, you're going to come back. And I'll say that about this year's show. If you've never seen a B.E. Taylor Christmas concert, you come and you're going to come back. There's, it's just that much fun. B, I, I wanted to ask real quickly, you've played in so many venues across the country. Is it different playing in, arena, in an arena setting like KCAC than, say, a theater setting like Heinz Hall? It, it is. It is. I mean, just just for the sheer size and the amount of people that you can you can have, and there's just something about being in the arena. And with you guys and the KCAC, from the crew to the fans, I mean, everybody involved. There's just a level of professionalism and and excitement from from everybody. You know, like I said, everybody involved. That um, I've played in arenas before, but. The way you guys set this show up, it's 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 incredibly special, and and there's an energy. We've talked about this. There's an energy at this particular show that um, is is very unique to to these shows, and and it was always a special time to come to to Indiana and play. So uh, the short answer is yes, but even more so with the KCAC. Well, we're looking forward to it. For the fans wanting to get tickets, as Todd mentioned, the box office opens in a couple of minutes. We know, B.C., we're going to have over 1,700. We have maybe 150 tickets left uh, for purchase. Uh, it's going to be a big glow stick waving crowd, and we can't wait. <laughs> Neither can we. B.C., we'll see you Sunday night. Yes, sir. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank.